Mom, I have a question. This is important. Do you know, once I turn in the divorce papers, is the divorce done and official? Is there anything else I need to do on this? I mean, once I turn those in, you and I are officially finished, right? Huh, what are you talking about? I just sent him off to my lawyer, so I'm wondering if there's anything else I need to do to make it official. I looked online but I didn't really find the answer I'm looking for. Just sending a piece of paper seems way too easy so I'm a little worried. Did I do everything? I've never done this before and I have no idea what I need to do. Um, Melanie, what was it that you sent to your lawyer? It was divorce papers. Are you saying that you sent divorce papers for your dad and me? Yep, that's what I sent. I decided I want a new mom. That's why I decided to get the ball rolling and get those papers turned in for you. Excuse me, you want a new mother? Yeah, you know, last time we had parent-teacher conferences, I was really embarrassed. I was looking at all my friends' moms and I just like felt like they were all so much better than you. I mean, you really look kind of pathetic compared to them, mom. So I started thinking about what I could do about that. And then I thought of the answer. I should get a new mom. All I need is for you and dad to get a divorce. Huh, wait a minute, Melanie. That's a really hurtful thing to say to me. You went and tried to file divorce papers for me and your dad for a silly reason like that. It's not silly, mom. It's a really important reason. You just don't get it. I mean, all of the other moms go to work at companies and get dressed up in nice clothes and high heels. They all look so stylish. But you just stay at home in your pajamas. You're just not cool like them, mom. It's embarrassing. Melanie, how many times do I have to explain this to you? There are all different kinds of moms and different kinds of work. I work at a company, too. But I don't need to go to the office to work. I work at home, remotely. Lots of people do it nowadays. So I do work at a company, just like the other moms. I just don't have to go to the office to do my job. No, it's not just like them. They're cooler and better. It's not working if you just stay at home all the time. It's just not. You don't dress up and wear a suit or wear cool high heels. That's the right way to work. I don't like having a mom who only wears jammies. You've got no style and you're not cool. Melanie, not having to wear a suit or high heels is the best part of working at home. Someday, you'll understand. Whatever. Anyway, I'm embarrassed to have such an uncool mom. I want a cool mom who dresses up every day and looks stylish. So you can pack your bags and leave. Okay, the paperwork is all done and turned in. So all that's left is for you to get out. Get out? Do you know what you're saying? Do you know what you're doing, filing divorce papers on behalf of your own parents? But, Dad said it was okay. I already talked to him about it. He told me that if I don't need you anymore, it's okay for you two to get divorced. Say that again, what did your father say? He told you it's okay to kick me out. When I talked to him about it, he said maybe he should just marry another lady. He says he's already dating another lady at work, ha ha. And she's cool and stylish and has lots of really cool clothes. And shoes. What? He's dating someone? Yeah. I guess it's what people call cheating. I was really surprised when I found out about it, but then he showed me her photo and she's really pretty. So I think I can forgive him if he's gonna make her my new mom. I like her style. Hang on a minute, Melanie. We need to rewind a little here. Your father is cheating on me. How long has this been going on and how long have you known about it? And you just say okay and don't have any other feeling about it. And you really want to have that other lady as your new mom? Yep. She's definitely cooler than you so it'll be great. Like I said, mom, you can leave now. We don't need you here anymore. Please just leave. Okay. You know, I've been noticing for a while that you and your father have been giving me the cold shoulder. I guess this is what that's been about. So maybe it really is better if I just pack up my bags and go. I'll be gone by tonight. I'm clearly not wanted here.
Yay! This is gonna be great. I'll tell Dad. He'll be so happy. Ten years later. Mom, I'm gonna be late coming home today so don't worry about dinner. I'll eat while I'm out so no need to wait up for me. I'll probably get dinner with some people from my internship. Okay, thanks for letting me know. I was going to make your favorite but I'll save it for tomorrow. And thanks for this morning, too, by the way. I was sure I'd be late for work, but you and your motorcycle got me there on time. Phew, I owe you one. No problem, it was on my way anyway, haha, -ha. and you know, I always have an extra helmet for the ladies, so. Ha, huh. you always say the right thing, son. Such a charmer, ha ha. Whatever, mom, ha ha, okay, I gotta get back to work. Talk to you later. I'll take you to work again tomorrow, so don't oversleep again, okay? The next day. Mom, long time no see. How have you been? I've missed you. Huh, who's that? Melanie. Of course it is. Did you delete my number or something? Ha ha, it's me. Your long lost daughter, Melanie. I can't believe it's been like 10 years since we last talked. Time flies. What is all this about, Melanie? Why are you suddenly contacting me out of the blue like this? If you're just bored and wanting to kill some time, I suggest you text someone else for that. Whoa, that's harsh. Is that really how you greet your long lost daughter? Sir Cold, bruh. You and your dad kicked me out of your lives 10 years ago. How am I supposed to greet you after all that? I mean, I haven't heard a word from either of you since then. You need to think back on what you did to me, Melanie. Yeah, I thought you might still be upset about that old stuff. But like it's water under the bridge. That's why I got in touch. I have good news for you. It's a new day. How about you come back and live with me and dad again? We can all be happy family again. You, me, and dad. What? You want us to be a family again? After all this time? Yep. I heard about your current situation. You're really making it happen at the company you're at now, huh? Seems like you really made a name for yourself. I mean, 10 years ago, all you were doing was sitting at home in your pajamas and doing so-called remote work. And nowadays you're actually the head of your division at your company. That's so cool. Wow, you've really done your research. Yep, I even found your salary when I searched you online, ha <laughs> ha. Division heads at Erie Company make at least $3 million a year. That's awesome. Is that all you're getting in touch about? My salary? What do you want? Okay, Mom, I actually have a really great offer for you. I think you'll really like it. I know you were really hurt when Dad and I kicked you to the curb. And that's why you went and became the big shot division head that you are now. I get that. I see you. We motivated you to get to where you are now. Excuse me, say that again. You really redeemed yourself. I mean, what a transformation. So, Dad and I want to reward you and bring you home. We love you. He was even saying how impressed he is with your achievements. You have got to be kidding me. Is this a joke? How stupid do you think I am? Telling me that you're going to reward me by bringing me back into this family after you both deserted me. I have no desire to do that whatsoever. It's not an offer I'll be taking you up on. Plus, you got yourself a new mom and a new wife for your dad. And you say you miss me. What are you even thinking, saying that you're going to bring me back while there's another woman there? Oh, yeah, about that other woman. She and dad actually didn't last long. It's kind of a long story but... I think it was because dad didn't tell her about me before she came to live with us, ha <laughs> ha. What? He didn't tell her he had a teenage daughter? Yep. When she got here and saw me, she said dad never told her anything about her having to be a mom and then she left. And it's been the two of us ever since. Just me and dad, like two peas in a pod. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow, that's, that's really sad. So, what are you two doing now? Dad and I have been mostly doing fine. He makes good money and we usually have no trouble making ends meet. But he ended up getting laid off recently and it's really terrible timing. 
Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, I guess. Yep, it was the recession or something like that. Company restructuring, blah blah, blah. Who knows? And I'm about to get married, too. Not a great time for restructuring. I mean, why couldn't they wait another year? So things are pretty tough right now and I need to ask for your help, mom. Dad was gonna help with my wedding expenses but everything is so tight for him right now. I don't know why he doesn't have any savings but, whatever. Alright, let's slow down a little here. This is a lot. I need a minute to process all this information. First, you're getting married? Yep, isn't it great? My boyfriend proposed to me. We've been together for a long time. We plan to have the wedding next year. At least, that's what we were seeing at first. Well, that's wonderful. Congratulations. Then, your dad lost his job and now he can't help to pay for the wedding. Do I have that all straight? Yep, exactly. You hit the nail on the head, mom. See, dad said he'd paid for the wedding but he got laid off and blah blah blah. And I spent all my savings my and my boyfriend's new home. You know, the deposit for the apartment and the furniture and appliances and all that cool stuff. And now you're short on cash and you need help from me. Even though you two tossed me out on my ear 10 years ago because you wanted a cooler mom. Wow, you really have some nerve asking me for that after the way you both treated me. Hey, we're family. Family is everything. Family helps family. Plus, if you and dad get married again, I can have both of you at the wedding. It'll be just like old times. Like nothing even happened. That'd work out really well for me. It'd be great timing for you and dad to reconcile, don't you think? Let's do it. Um, please stop and think. Who on earth would do that? I will not be getting back together with your father just because it'd be convenient for you. And the three of us will not be a family again. That relationship died a long time ago, and I wasn't the one who killed it. So no, I will not be helping you with your wedding expenses, that's your problem, not mine. I want nothing to do with the two of you anymore and that's the way you wanted it. Please don't forget that. Wow, are you ever stubborn? Don't you see that this is a chance for you to escape your lonely single spinster's life? Come on, be honest. In your heart of hearts, you're happy to hear from me. I know you are. No, not really. I'm not happy to hear from you and I'm not lonely at all but thanks for asking. I have to go now. Take care. Wow, really, you are really something, mom. You hear from your long lost daughter for the first time and this is the attitude you take. Okay, then, if that's how you feel, I guess I'll have to go to plan B, but don't say I didn't warn you. If you won't come back to dad and me, I'll just have to tell everyone at your company your dirty little secret. My secret? What on earth are you talking about? I'm talking about the young guy you're taking care of in exchange for adult fun, if you know what I mean, haha. Ha. I'll just have to let your co-workers know about him. I know all their email addresses and telephone numbers, you know. I mean, a woman your age shacking up with a young guy like that. Yeah, I feel like that's something that your co-workers would find interesting. Something that might even affect your future at the company, too. Excuse me, I don't know what kind of false rumor you're planning to spread, but you're talking total nonsense right now, Melanie. I've never done anything like that in my life. You're completely deluded, period. Oh, come on, there's no use trying to hide it anymore, mom. I'm on to you. I have a mountain of photos. I have you red-handed with your hand in the cookie jar and your pants down. I have photos. Photos of you walking around town with them. Photos of you out on dates with him, riding on the back of his motorcycle, hugging him tight. It's all there. Ah, uh, you've got it all wrong, dear. You know, older ladies should really be more sensible with how they spend their money, ha ha. You should be spending it on your daughter and not on some young stud, ha ha. Wow, you really need to get your facts straight. You really have no idea what you're talking about. I have the facts. It's all there in the photos, like I said. Photos don't lie. And if you don't get back together with dad, 
I'm gonna spread this info all over your company. What do you think about that? That won't be good for your reputation, Miss Division Head. Ha ha. You can't be serious. This is what you're trying to threaten me with. You think you're going to blackmail me? I promise I'll apologize later for all that stuff from 10 years ago, okay? Like I said, water under the bridge. So bring your awesome salary and come back to live with dad and me. At least until I get married, ha ha. I mean, come on. Taking care of your daughter is a thousand times better than spoiling some young stud, right? You need to stop harassing my mom, and I mean right now. Do you understand? Huh, what is this now? You just told her to bring her money and come back to you. Are you serious? Did you actually just say that? All you've seen her is a chance to get some money. What kind of a loser are you? Anyway, get lost. Who is this? Who do you think you are and who are? And who are you to be calling her your mother? I'm her son, that's who I am. So I'll ask you the same question. Just who are you? And who do you think you are, suddenly showing up and pretending to be her family a decade after you and your dad kicked her out? So I'll ask you again, who are you? I'm waiting for an answer. What? You say you're her son? What? A son can't spend time with his mom. A mom can't catch a ride to work with her son. I'm no young stud she's paying for love. You need to watch your mouth and show some respect. Wait just one minute. You're her son. There's no way that's true. You're lying. She only has one kid and that's me. I'm her daughter and I have the DNA to prove it. And you claim you're her son. Not possible. She has no son. If you had half a brain, maybe you'd consider the possibility that she got married again. Genius. Because after you and your dad kicked her out, that's exactly what she did. And she married my dad. She found a man who isn't a cheating low life and now she has a son who treats her with love and respect, the way a child is supposed to treat his parents. She may be my stepmother but as far as I'm concerned she's my mother. Which makes me her son. What? She got married again? I don't believe it. So I guess you must be the daughter she had with that lousy first husband of hers, huh? She doesn't talk about you much but I've heard about you from my dad. Yeah, I've heard plenty about the both of you. You're the one who thought she wasn't good enough for you because she didn't have the right job or the right clothes or some such nonsense, right? The one who persuaded your dad, who was already cheating on her, to divorce her and even put in the divorce paperwork for them yourself, right? Was that just because you're a cold-hearted wench or was it because your dad's too much of a coward to handle things for himself? I'm sincerely asking. Yeah, what a wonderful daughter you were, ha ha. And what a fine husband your dad was. Good riddance, I say. And you're even older than me and you just showed up asking for a handout and trying to get her to go back to you and your dad, after all that. That's more than a little pathetic, you know. Excuse me, you're the one who needs to watch your mouth. No, I won't excuse you because there is no excuse for you or for what you've done to her. I've been sitting next to her this whole time, reading this chat. All I have to say is, you're lucky I'm here and not in the same room with you or your dad right now. You say you're about to get married, right? I gotta say, that's a terrible idea. Whoever the poor sap is who marries you, he's gonna be in for a world of trouble, no doubt about it. Why, I never. You have no right to speak to me that way. You suddenly appear, saying you're her son, and think you can take that attitude with me. There is no way on earth that you're her son. Impossible. Oh, really, being told that by you is hilarious. You really should listen to yourself. If you don't like my attitude, shut up and leave my mom alone. The next day. I'm furious. Furious. That so-called son of yours yesterday really got my goat. I'm so mad. I'm still seething right now, a day later. Oh, ha ha. I suppose I should have apologized for Tim. He can be a bit rough sometimes but he's really a big teddy bear, I assure you. I'm very proud to call him my son. Your son? How can you possibly be proud of a rude bully like him? What are you, stupid? And as for you, how is that you got married again and how haven't I heard about it? How? 
Well, you knew all about my job and salary, so I thought you must know about my remarriage, too. I had no idea you'd go and get married again. So how could I possibly know that the young guy you're hanging around with is your son? It's really amazing what a person can convince themselves of, ha <laughs> ha. Don't try to change the subject. Oh my god, this is all just infuriating me even. It's it's unbelievable. I refuse to believe that that idiot is my brother, even a half-brother. Well, to be accurate, he's neither of those things to you. He's not related to you, either by blood or on paper. He's your stepbrother. Stop it. Just shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I can't listen to another word of this. I'm furious. Furious. Just watch what happens now, you traitor. Plan B is what happens. Plan B. Now all your co-workers get to know your dirty little secret. Um, and what secret is that, pray tell? I already told you. He's my son. He's not some young stud that I'm paying to keep me company. You do understand that now, don't you? Ha, huh. it doesn't matter. I can say whatever I want to say about it and about you. The company doesn't know anything about who's got how many kids or who's divorced and remarried. I can put the story out there and the damage will be done long before you even have a chance to address it. My story won't include anything about him being your son. Ha <laughs> ha. That's all it'll take for your reputation and the company's trust in you to go right down the tubes. I'll be plenty satisfied with that. Melanie, you need to get a grip, please. You thought you could just go and get married again. No, 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 no. Dad lost his job. Now the same thing is gonna happen to you. A few days later. Hi, Mom. How's an employed life treating you? Ha ha. Wow, you really did go and email all those photos to my co-workers. Yep, like I said, the damage is done and you can't do a thing about it. Ha ha. You can say whatever you want now and it won't make a bit of difference. They're never gonna think of you the same way again, mom. You may not get fired, but next time you're up for a promotion or they need to decide who's gonna get demoted. Well, you know, ha ha. Actually, I just got a promotion and a raise. Excuse me? A promotion you say? Yes, isn't that great? And they also told me to expect a good bonus this year. I really worked hard on our last project and it looks like they appreciated my effort. What? Why? Why are you suddenly getting a pay raise and a bigger bonus? I got the rumor out. I sent the photos. Your reputation is dead. You're a disgusting old lady who's keeping a young lover. The information is all out there, along with the photos. Sorry to burst your bubble but my son is an intern at my company. So everyone there knows what my relationship with him is. Those emails you sent out went straight into everyone's trash folders. He's an intern, at your company. That is correct. He's a junior in college at the moment but he's been an intern there since his sophomore year. He's had an interest in my job and the industry I'm in, so he applied for the internship on his own and got it without any help from me. Wow. Yes, and everyone at work knows that we're family. Everyone there thinks he's great. He has a reputation as a kind and sensitive guy. Our co-workers and bosses are all worried about him. So sweet of them. They're all talking about what they need to do to find the perpetrator and file charges. Charges? What do you mean by charges? The company's legal department and the police have been contacted and they're on the case. That's because both the company and two employees of the company have been victimized. Makes sense, right? Ah. Uh. Yeah, the cyber crimes division here are pretty tough, from what I hear. They don't waste time, just get the evidence and bring the charges, from what I'm told. I don't think anyone is going to be dropping any charges, so I suggest you prepare yourself. Wait a minute, mom. Let's not be hasty. Is illegal action really necessary? Isn't that a bit extreme? Well, you're the one who involved my company in this, Melanie. That made everything a lot more serious. No, hang on a second. I'll apologize for the photos and everything. I promise. So please, 
Please don't get the police involved. I mean, even with all this, I'm still your daughter. You can still forgive me out of the goodness of your heart, right mom? I'm sorry but any feelings I had for you as a daughter are long gone, Melanie. That's just the way it is. You don't mean that. You can't. Sir, I have no intention of forgiving you, dear. I'll be leaving anything further about this matter to the company and the police. After that. Shortly after that, the police found Melanie and took her into custody. The company decided to press charges and Melanie was certain to face some sort of punishment as a result. Melanie's engagement was also called off as a result of all this. Tim, in his usual blunt fashion, told me he was glad Melanie's fiancé came to his senses and got away from her in the nick of time.